Hello friends and welcome to another unboxing video. I'm uh, so excited about this package which arrived today at the post office. You could see it's quite a large package and it's uh, quite uh, well sealed. So I will use my trusted little knife and I will try to unbox it as, uh, go as I can. So there are lots of... Uh, Lots of layers. Let's see. Mm. So it's gonna take me a while, so I will pause the video till I manage to open the layer. So this time, guys, I think it was uh, packaged in an old whiskey, Valentine's fine whiskey box. I'm in the middle of uh, opening it. I will pause again the video and I see you in a short uh, few. I have uh, returned guys and I was right. It definitely is a box of Ballantine's finest. Interesting. Okay. And uh, you can see it. I have uh, some uh, more work to do to open this uh, layer of scotch and I've managed to open it without cutting myself so this is a nice treat I can see you guys in a few moments so guys I have managed to open it I said to myself that a nice box like this should be preserved if I can so, and this is a part of the box, and you can see here the package. I will try to finish the operation. Okay, let's do this aside, and I will open it through here. And let's see if I can. I don't want to ruin it. Not now. Okay. So, this is the only paper, only paper, and I hope I can, yes, I can read the content. So, lots, lots of mess. I will take it out of the picture and all the papers. Okay, I have a clean desk now. And here are the two fountain pens I've been expecting and I'm uh, particularly excited about one big fountain pen and you will see that it's the equivalent of the Diplomat 149 and it was made by Flaro Titan in Romania, in Communist Romania in the 1970s. So I'm quite, quite, quite excited. But... Um, I like the bubbles, I don't want to ruin them, so I will simply cut it here, okay, let's try to, oh, you know that I'm not a patient guy, so I will, I will make a mess out of this for sure, I hope I don't cut myself. Okay. Okay. So now let's see what we have in here. So the first fountain pen quite quite well wrapped. <laughs> oh god. So um, the seller didn't know I will do an unboxing, but uh, I have to work for it. Let's cut it here. Okay, mamma mia, come on, come on. Finally, and yes. So this is, this is the fountain pen I was talking. You can see it's a big, big fountain pen. 
it has the name here and like Flaro Titan and it definitely needs some work this is the version with the steel nib Osmio it has the wing window and this particular model has a problem with um, the piston so it's broken but uh, this is the famous Flaro Titan a big model and uh, the other fountain pen and I hope I will manage to open it okay lots and lots of tape and lots of scotch adhesive tape okay let's see if I can open it it's uh, still secured in this bubble okay so with a little bit of patience I can do the work and here is another communist fountain pen made also by Flaro and we have a Flaro Uranus this is a quite nice fountain pen the seller told me it has a problem here a crack on the cap uh, in fact there are several cracks but uh, it doesn't matter I want to show you the beautiful beautiful steel nib and um, I call it a semi hooded nib it's quite a nice model let's see the system yes it's typical to communist uh, fountain pens of that period in Eastern Europe this is like um, ink converter but uh, you can see it's part of the inner body of the fountain pen so it's glued you can't remove it let's test it if it is functional yes you can see it is in perfect order so guys this was my unboxing video I paid for both of these communist fountain pens 20 euros including shipping um, that means I paid 25 American dollars so two great fountain pens and I, I am particularly excited about the equivalent of the 149 you can see this is a big big fountain pen in comparison with the other fountain pen and stay tuned guys because in the next day you will definitely see the review of the Flara Uranus and maybe I will do also a follow-up video of the Flaro Titan because um, I've done the Flaro Titan review this was my unboxing video thank you for your time if you've enjoyed this episode please consider supporting my activity by subscribing to my channel as always I wish you to have a nice day Thank you again for your time and bye bye.